Welcome back, folks. This is Dan Oweiler, your retirement professor. I'm here to talk to you about safe money retiring and how you can set up a safe and secure retirement that will provide you a plan and income that will last you the rest of your life. I know over the last few years, I've kind of had an interview process with Ken sitting at the table, but we've decided to maybe do a little bit different format this year and, and maybe use the whiteboard and, and show you some concepts that I think are important in setting up a safe and secure retirement. So we're going to talk about crystallizing the goals that you have as you go into your planning and making sure that your investments provide you the things that you're expecting it to provide you. So I want to talk to you about four or five things that I talk to clients about as we structure a retirement plan that fits their needs. So I'm going to go to the board here real quickly and I'm going to talk about what you can invest your money for as you go about setting up this plan. And so the first thing that you can invest your money for is what we call growth. That means your money is going to grow in the market, okay? It's going to go up in value. It doesn't provide you much income or whatever it might be. That means you invest $100,000, and because stock prices go up, it goes up to $120,000. So you're going to get growth out of that principle. The next thing you can invest for is income. That means that the investment that you invest in is going to provide interest returns or dividends like a CD or bonds. They provide you an income that you can live off to pay your bills to live as you want to live. Okay, So income is one of the things that you can invest your money for. The third thing is making sure your money is safe. Okay. You want to make sure that the principal is protected, that it's not going to go down in value if there's a turn in the economy or the stock market. You want to make sure that your principal is there to be there when you need it. The fourth thing you can have is you want to make sure that your money is always liquid. Okay? This is a U. Sorry about that. But uh, uh, you want to make sure your money is liquid. And for whatever reason is, you can put your money in the bank, it'll always be liquid. What I need to have people understand is, is you have to decide what is most important to you. You have to decide whether or not growth, income, safety, or liquidity is more important to you, okay? And so if you decide that you want safety as your number one goal, then you are going to give up some of these other things. Okay, you are going to be giving up growth or income opportunities because you want your money safe. You can put the money in the bank right now and get maybe a half a percent, maybe one percent in a CD. It will be liquid, but you're going to be giving up income opportunities or growth opportunities. Okay, if you want growth as your number one opportunity, you are going to be giving up safety or maybe liquidity and income. You just have to decide what it is that you want from your investments. And as I work with people in the retirement community, generally I find that safety is the number one thing for them. They want to make sure their money is going to be there when they need it, uh, that they can get access to it, and they don't want to be able to have uh, a downturn in the economy or in the stock market affect that. So let's use an example for a minute. If you have, let's say that you have $500,000 to invest and you put it in the stock market and the stock market has done well and it's kind of grown to five or $600,000. If we have a downturn in the economy in the market and the drops to 400000 if that's a concern to you, if you're worried about the principle that you have currently earned dropping in value as a result of the market, safety should be your number one goal. That should be your, the thing that you want to, to accomplish because you can't afford sometimes to have what you've earned go away. Now, if it's not a concern to you, if, if your, your uh, investment portfolio can drop $100,000, dollars dollars $300,000 and that's not a concern, then that might give you an opportunity to invest in some things that will give you growth opportunity, but maybe not as much safety as you would normally have, okay? And so these are the things that you want to look at as you're going forward. 
Do I want safety? I can have safety and liquidity by putting it in the bank. But I'm going to be giving up income and growth opportunities because we're not earning very much money in the bank. On the other hand, I can have growth and liquidity by putting it in the stock market. Yet, if we put it in the stock market, we're going to be giving up what? Safety and income. Now, growth to the overall portfolio may provide you some income if you want to liquidate. However, if we have it in the market, we're going to be having growth opportunity with liquidity, but we do give up some safety and income. I can invest in bonds, and they say that bonds provide income to me, and they can be liquid, but bond values can go up and down, obviously, and you're not going to get any growth out of that, okay? Unless interest rates go down, which they can't do much more right now, okay? But, and so what I want to do and help people understand is we need to crystallize what it is that we're trying to do. What is it that we want to accomplish in our overall planning process? Do I want safety and growth? Do I want safety and income? I have people say, Dan, I want all of them. And I wish that I could provide all of them to people. However, as we sit down, how we invest our money getting to retirement is different than how we invest our money getting through retirement. And so we need to understand that as we go forward, we really need to crystallize what it is we want out of our retirement. Well, hopefully some of these concepts has helped you in planning your retirement, folks. If you'd like to take advantage of sitting down with us, we'd be happy to offer you a complimentary consultation. Just give us a call at our offices. Our number is 859-8900. Our website is sterling, F as in Frank, A as in Apple.com. We'd be happy to sit down with you and talk to you about what your hopes and dreams are in retirement. We hope you have a, a safe and secure retirement. Thank you.